change truth. Um, and uh, I've been uh, getting attacked, as these gentlemen have been for years. I've been getting attacked in the last years, in particular, on, uh, on uh, coming out against social justice. Social justice, as it is as it explained and understood by progressives, is collective salvation. It's, it's evil. It's just awful, awful. And I told you, no, find out exactly what your church is teaching and why they're teaching and what are the roots of it. Where is this? If social justice is, hey, go out and serve, uh, you know, serve your fellow man, you personally make the choice to serve your fellow man to, uh, to serve God, it's great. That's usually not what, it's, uh, what, what it means. Now this is in your, in your churches. And this is from the Tides Foundation. It is the story of stuff, let there be stuff, except this is all about God and not just how evil capitalism is and how evil America is. This is how evil we are uh, because we're destroying God's creation. Look for it in your churches, in your synagogues, because it's now being pushed. If you find it, what do you do? <laughs> well, for one thing, we, uh, we have an alternative. We have the Cornwall Alliance has just, just, uh, just released a 12-lecture DVD series called Resisting the Green Dragon that examines the worldview, the theology, the ethics, the politics, the economics, the science, the history, everything about the environmentalist movement and how it is intentionally infiltrating churches and intentionally targeting especially children. Yes. And we show people what is a truly biblical understanding of this stuff at the same time that we're showing what are the problems in this movie. Where do you get it? Resistingthegreendragon.com. Okay. Uh, 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 the time for you to sit on the couch or the time for you to say, oh, that's not the big, it, it's over. Yeah. And I really believe, David, correct me if I'm wrong, that religions, faiths, will lose as many people as they will gain. There's going to be a changing of chairs. Yeah. Like, people who have been just, you know, doing the easy thing in religion, once our religions start to stand up for liberties, yeah. You're going to have people say, oh, if, what? And they're going to leave. We're going to lose members of our faith, but we will gain more than we lose. Do you yeah, agree? I agree. Absolutely. And that was the American Revolution. If you remember the first prayer in Congress, the famous picture, Reverend Jacob Duchesne prayed that prayer, and boy, he prayed a fire Belgian prayer about the British. Yeah. Two years later, we've lost several battles, and he becomes a British traitor. He says, uh, Washington, I think you guys are losing. I'm out. He was chaplain of Congress at the time, wow. and he leaves and goes to Great Britain. And he says, I, I can't take the pressure that there's too much, it doesn't look good. Well, we end up winning. And now he's got to come back. I mean, he had E. Crow coming back, had to ask Washington's forgiveness and apology, and that's where the church is right now. So, um, here's the thing, uh, America. You have to know what you believe. You have to know what is true. And what the, 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 the most important thing in this is they say, you have to start gathering in groups. You have to start... It, it is acorn. It yeah. is organizing for America, or whatever you want to call it, in our churches. That's right. um, we must come together. It's why, yeah. David, we started the Black Robe Regiment. That's right. That's right. Um, because we must start coming together. People of faith must root out the, um, the lies and, uh, and stand together in the truth. Final thoughts on America.